Do you not have enough monthly subscriptions? Do you also not have enough Pokemon cards? I mean, do any of us, really? Well, I've got the thing for you. Let's go. So today, we are going to be looking at the Pokeparcel subscription box. Now, this is the subscription box where you get Pokemon merch and cards delivered to your door once a month. Pokeparcels is run by a very nice guy called Nick, and he has a very, very nicely donated a standard box for one of you guys. All you need to do is like the video, turn on notifications, and put hashtag Pokeparcels in the comments right now. This is it right here. It's very, very nice. We've got the Pokeparcels. This is the standard tier, but what we are going to take a look at right now is the master box. But should we just go over to the website so you can see where all the price points are and all that kind of thing? So as you can see right here, we have got the poker parcel subscription boxes. Now this is a monthly thing. I don't think you're locked in for a certain amount of time. It's just a rolling subscription. You can cancel any time you want. But we start off with the pocket box, which is fourteen pound thirty-seven. I mean, what a choice, thirty-seven. Um, weird, but. I dig it. Um, we have also got the uh, the standard box, which we are going to be giving away today to one of you, and that is £24.39. We have got the premium box, which is £33.28. Um, the price instructions is getting a bit weird here. And then we have got the master box, which is £111.05. Hence. Now, even though Nick has donated this lovely, lovely standard box right here, the box that I am opening, I did pay for, and we are going to see if there is a good amount of value in there for £111 and five pence per month because that is a pretty penny so i mean you might actually have to like pick is it going to be disney plus is it going to be netflix or is it going to be poker parcels um, but let me know in the comments what you think we are going to move down here and i'm going to show you exactly what is in the master box right as you can see this is just a cardboard box right here now the size of this box is pretty crazy of course it does cost 111 pounds and of course five five pence um so i think i'm just gonna there you go you can see the box all that kind of stuff oh there's a dog hair on there oops um but i'm gonna get this open i'm gonna just start pulling stuff out but i'm gonna have to have it on the floor next to me um and let's see if we're gonna get a lot of bang for our butt so as you can see in the box so far i've just pulled this out we have got one of the standard looking pokey parcel boxes uh we'll look at this last um, and we're gonna dive into what else is in here first right we have actually got a paldia collection box which is pretty cool pretty cool we opened um we opened a few of these in the video a little while ago and i've opened a few since um on stream and what have you so i think we'll start off with this we'll just rip some packs but i mean uh, what these are like 21.99 right 21.99 so i mean we're we're under the 100 pound mark now of like what we've got to make up in the uh in the 111 pound and five pence um but, but let's get this open i just want to add that they've got their own uh They've got their own, they've got their own tissue paper, which is pretty cool. If you do order off my streams, you know that I'm a big believer in the tissue paper in the packages. It just makes it look all really nice. But we've seen these before. So we've got the three, well, we've got the one promo right here. And then we've got the two cards with the silver borders. Crazy. And we have got the ring light, which is just going mad on there. So that's really cool. Um, and then we've got, you know, we've got the big EX card right there. If you watched the last video with the Mimikyu EX, you would have seen that we looked at the Mimikyu card, which uh, which was a little bit, a little bit like, you know, small, um, just like the standard size, which is cool. And then we should have a code card. Oh, I didn't show you the code card. God damn it. Right. There you go. There's there's the code card. Let's go see if you can get that. Can you understand that? I'm sure you can. Um, I'm sure someone will get it. And then we got two Brilliant Stars and two Silver Tempest. Great selection, as I said before. If you want four packs, if you want four packs in the box, then this is absolutely a great box for you to pick up um, and to get them promos as well. But I think we'll start off with the Silver Tempest, the last, the last official extension of Sword and Shield. We are moving into the Scarlet and Violet. I cannot wait. Um, I actually got managed to get a pre-release. Um, over the weekend because we were at the Cardiff Card Show and we went down to the local Geek Retreat right there. But let's see if we can pull some fire right now. We have got a Beldum, a Professor. Oh, let's go. We have got a V card. We will definitely take that. Absolutely, we'll take that. Oh, my cameras, my lights are very bright. They're just bouncing off all of that at the moment. Right, okay, let's go. Let's see if we can get a hit from every single pack. But now that I've said it, it's not going to happen, is it? Um, but is this something that you would think about doing having you know add into your subscription balance every single month 
um, to get a Pokemon box subscription. Oh, we got a Hissian Lilligan right there. I don't know why I'm... Oh, man, what, is, what am I doing? What am I doing? I feel like I haven't recorded a video in ages, probably because it hasn't. It's, it's been a while. It has been a while. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go. But we're going to do some Japanese card openings very soon. But the prices are crazy, and maybe we'll do a video talking about that as well. We have got the Droplet of Cum, the Milkery right there. Here we go, the Cherubi, the Minchino, and we have got a Flygon, a Flygon, the Full Art Flygon, honestly. The Full Art Flygon, was it from Brilliant Stars? The full, well, from Star Birth, just absolutely plagued me opening Star Birth. I think we got something in here. Should we go, um, should we go card trick? I mean, why not? Why not? Let's go. Let's go. What are you looking forward to ripping first out of the uh, Scarlet and Violet? Are you just going to go full booster box? Or are we going to go for like ETBs? Maybe the triple bisters will be broken like the Evolving Scars. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Have we got an alt art? We've got an alt art. We got the Haunch Grove. Let's fucking go, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let's go. Man, the centering is way off, but that is phenomenal. That is absolutely amazing. Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing with that. All right, I'm going to pop that off to the side over there. So we have actually hit a big hitter. I know that doesn't go towards the cost of the box because it is a hit. But boy, is it a hit. Let's go. Right, so next up, we've got another little box. A little box right here. So we've got a little box right here, which has got some stuff in. So let's get this cut. Right, here we go. Oh, man, I know you can't see, but... Well, let's open this and see what we got. I'm kind of hoping for a little bit of Japanese in here, um, but there is no options on the website to pick if it's English or Japanese. But I think, oh, I'm just ripping it. Oh, we have got a bit of Japanese, absolutely. So in this box, it's a nice selection. Let's get them all out and then have a look. I'm buzzing for that Haunch Crow. The Haunch Crow, oh, Haunch Crow oh, ah. It's not every day that I pull Oh, arts, if I'm honest. But we have got a Brilliant Stars Triple Blister. We will take that. And then we have got a bit of Japanese. We have got the Silver Lance, um, which, you know, the Sh um, Ice Rider Calyrex. Oh, if we pull that right there. And then we have got Star Birth as well with, the, with all the Zards, the five Zards. We've got a Rebel Clash. Uh, not everyone's favorites. We've got a Two Fusion Strike, another Rebel Clash. And then we've got some Lost Origin. Are we going to pull the Giratina? Right, let me just get this uh, Triple Blister open. Um, and we'll just get all these packs ripped. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Haunch Crow. Haunch Crow ult art. It's, if, you know, if, uh, it's not the best ult art in the world, but, man, I am buzzing. That is so sick. So, so sick. Right, there's your code card for the blister right there. And then we have got the Leafy On. The Leafy On, such a cute promo. Really, really like that. Really like that. That is amazing. Um, okay, we'll do the Brilliant Stars last because that seemed to that seemed to work a minute ago, right? Okay, so here we go. We'll start off with Rebel Clash. I know a lot of people don't like Rebel Clash, but I've had some I've had some really good hits. There's some nice gold cards um, in the Rebel Clash, but when we're opening Sword and Shield sets right now, it's like because of the Trainer Gallery and the Galarian Gallery and all that kind of stuff. It's like all of these kind of sets which don't have them. Like, I don't know, people people just don't really like them too much. Oh, let's go. We got the Dragapult VMAX right there. The stoned uncle himself. Oh, my gosh. Let's fucking go. Right, we'll carry on. We'll carry on with the Rebel Clash. We're doing pretty well so far. We've had a V, a, um, a VMAX and an OR. Are we going to get something from here? Oh, is there something there? There's your code card. Okay, here we go. We're going to do we're going to do the card trick. If we get a hit out of every out of all of the rebel clash right now i mean i don't mind the set the set that i don't like the most like the my worst set from sword and shield and i know people are going to disagree is darkness ablaze because like what the fuck it's, it's just it's a set that you just throw a charizard in and you're like oh yeah people will chase that we have got a hit we have got the intellion v right there let's go let's go so we got the intellion v the dragapult v we have also got the magina the magina bagheera magina v as well um and the haunch crow oh uh, we are doing very very well right so moving to one of my favorite sets from sword and shield just because of that gengar because of the music as well the genesic the genesect there is some really really underrated alt arts available in um fusion strike i really do like it and the, the japanese counterpart fusion arts is just wicked as well we got drill bell we got rickadee rickadoo and we have got an electros so nothing in there but that is the only thing with fusion strike there is no trainer gallery and the hits are few and far between we've been the most lucky with um with actually um half boosters like individual packs from half boosters from the uh from the post office down the road from us 
That's where we hit our Mew VMAX OR. Oh, we got a Grimace Snarl. Grimace Snarl. I was about to say regular rare. Grimace Snarl Hollow. So I got all right, all right. Let's go on the Lost Origin. So at the moment, I think because we still got like a box to open, I think this is pretty good value at the moment, and like it's really, really fun. Like to get, I might actually get one of these every month. Maybe not the higher tier one, maybe the premium box. Oh, let's go. We have got the Pavement Pizza, Spirit Tomb, Trainer Gallery, and then we have got the Barbacle. The Barbacle Hollow. There we go. That is another hit. Oh man, this is this is working out very, very well. Way better, way better than the last few uh, few boxes we've done um, on the channel. Right here we go. We got a Meditate Shellos, Mindfu, Litleo. We got a Ghastly. We got a Pseudo Wudo, and then we have got a Politoed. A Politoed. I thought there was a hit in there. I don't know why. Oh, there's your co card. There we go. Right there. Um, I think I have forgotten to do a few co-cards, but we got the pseudo widow, the, uh, the the pimp stick himself, and brilliant stars. If we can get another alt art, that'll be, oh man, I'll be absolutely buzzing. That'll be fucking crazy. Right, here we go. Far-fetched. Execute. Come on, we want the Zard. We want the alt art Zard. We have got a Lipard. <laughs> we have got a regular rare Esk... 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 <sighs> Escavilia, Escavilia. Anyway, there is your code card for the brilliant stars. Oh man, oh, have we hit a wall right now? We've still got the two Japanese packs up there. We got brilliant stars again with the shaman. We'll leave the Zardi boy till the end, right? Oh, oh, I think I see something. Is it a V or is it a? Is it going to be something a bit nicer, man? I hope so. We got the Starmie freshwater set, Sigalith. We got a trap inch, Piplup, Shroomish. Purloin, come on, let's go, let's go. What we got, what we got? It's not trying to go. Oh, shit. Let's go. We got the Haunch Crow V full art as well. Oh, my gosh. Right, so I can't believe it. At the moment, at the moment, this is crazy. So we got the Haunch Crow V alt art, and then we have got the Haunch Crow V full art as well. Are we going to pull any more Haunch Crow today? But we've got a nice little... We, I have not seen I have not seen a little pile of cards that good in, um, in one of my openings in a long time. Maybe this is the turning point. Maybe the luck is gonna, just going to get better. I mean, I hope so. Right, okay. Should we do the card? Yeah, let's do it. Let's build up suspense and then get... I mean, we're not, we, we, can't, we can't get something out of everything, can we? We got the Barista. We have got the Derp by it. If you know, you know the Derpy Derpy boy. We have got the Sork, Cheruby, we are the Ry the Ryolu, the Ryolu, I can never say that. We got the Whammer Dam, oh, damn, no way, what's going on? What is going on right now? Let's go, we got Cheren's Care, Cheren's Care, Rainbow, Full Art Trainer right there. These, honestly, so out of that blister, we got a Full Art and we got a Rainbow, and we got a Rainbow Full Art um, Trainer. So I think, is that one of the broken blisters? You know, we, everyone talks about these broken blisters and what have you. Man, I've just got, we've got pack dandruff all over the place right now. And we got Starbirth and Silver Lance. I'm going to need my scissors for these, all right? Because if you, uh, it, like, if you are part of the streams or what have you, you know that I'm not very good at snipping Japanese packs. And I would hate, I would hate to damage any of the cards trying to get them open without scissors. Right, okay, so one from the back to the front. If you are not privy to Japanese cards, there is five cards per pack um, in the normal extensions. Unless it's high class, then it all changes. And we have got, have we got anything from the Silver Lance? And we have not. You are not guaranteed a reverse hollow or a hollow or just, you're not guaranteed anything. However, um, when you do open a box, unlike the English where you don't have a guaranteed hit rate, with Japanese, you do have a guaranteed secret rare per box. Which is uh, which is a lot of fun, a lot of fun chasing them. And then we have got, we got Cynthia, Cynthia right there. We're not hitting anything out there, right? So that was the first little box. Now we're going to move on to the bigger box that was inside the even bigger box, which I think is along the lines of the standard box that we are going to be giving away. If you have forgotten, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, ding that, ding a ling a bell on, and then put hashtag Pokey Parcels in the comments right there. Right, so here we go. Here we go. We are now going to be opening this one right here. Man, there's just... I have not got enough space on my desk. We've got some more of the lovely tissue paper. Here is a little bit of literature, so subscribe now. Um, use referral code. So here you go. So 10% off your first subscription box. Use Pokey Parcel 10 and uh, get 10% get off your first subscription box. 
And if you can't be asked to type it in, there you go. There is a QR code right there. And then there's another, there's another one. There we go, we got two. Um, we'll send them off to PSA right there. So, oh, here we go. So there's actually not just Pokemon cards in here. This looks interesting. Very, very interesting. So we got something wrapped up in a bit of bubble wrap right there. Okay, all right, cool. Um, we have, let me move this out of the way, actually, so we can actually see this stuff properly. But we have got some Charmander. Oh, not just Charmander socks, but they are ankle socks. Man, that is cool. So you can, um, so you can roll up. Is it actually? Yeah, yeah, so these are socks. So you can, you know, you can be all trendy and roll up your pants and everyone can still see your ankles. And then secretly, you are a Pokemon fan underneath. We have got a tin right here. I can't remember what tins are these. What are these? Oh, this is Crown Zenith tin. Let's go. Of course it. Of course it is. Of course it is. We have also got a lovely little um, can of pop um, or for you American soda. So we've got a little bit of a Charmander theme going on right there. That's pretty cool. I might put that on my keys. I don't actually have any key rings on my keys. We have got a magnetic holder for all your cards for the Yeti. Uh, sorry, the Yeti or the Yeti if you uh, if you watch wrestling. Um, but that's really, really cool, actually. I have got like a card that I will put in there. Uh, maybe I'll put the Haunch Crow in there, right? And then we've got this little box right here. So I don't know if this is the same as a standard box. Um, I'm unsure. Um, but at the moment, I kind of like... You know, like these are these are like ten pounds, aren't they? Um, and then I don't think I don't think these are mega cheap. Um, I'm not sure how the socks would be, but they are fucking cool. I'm gonna wear them next time I see uh, Nick, the man behind Poker Parcels, um, at a card show um, over the next. Well, I don't know. There's like there's like three card shows a month in the UK at the moment, which is awesome, by the way. If you haven't been to a card show in the UK, then there is definitely gonna be one near you. Um, so check it out. Check it out. What is this? What is this? Oh, there we go. It is indeed a little stand right there. So you can stand your slabs. So I've, got, I've actually got a slab right there. There you go. So, I mean, bit of a weird angle, but that's, um, well, they're quite, actually, do you know what? So I actually use these, um, but they fall over quite often. But that is, that is very, very secure right there. Well, does that, maybe, maybe. So this, this and this come together. So you can put your card in there and then you can sit it up like that. All right, okay, cool, cool. Synergy, synergy within the box, right? So we're gonna, we'll open the Crown Zenith first. I think, see if we can get one of the gold boys or even the Pikachu Secret Rare. <coughs> that would be really, really cool. So if you don't know, if you haven't opened these before, you do get, a, is it a sticker? Yeah, you do get a sticker which you can put on, I don't know, your laptop or something like that if if that's what you do. Um, and then you get two packs of Crown Zenith. So let's get these open. Let's see if we got the luck. Um, let's see if the luck's in. I still can't believe that we, out of that blister, we got a full art and we got a, um, a rainbow full art trainer as well. That is just crazy, crazy. Right, here we go. Friends of Hisui, um, Luxio, Croco Rock, Lovesta, Shinx, Energy Retrieval, Galarian Meowth, Baltoy. We have got a Pornard, a Pornard, and we have got nothing. We have got Sleepy Boy, Luxray, Regular Rare, Non Hollow. Right, okay, so next Crown Zenith. Um, the tins that I've actually opened of Crown Zenith have been usually like quite spicy. Um, if I'm honest, I know that they've had quite a lot of stuff in. I usually go for the mini tins with special sets um, when they do them anyway. Um, did they do them for Pokemon Go? Yeah, they did. And Shining Fates as well. Shining Fates was so sick. The mini tins, the, the, we pulled a few Zards out. Oh, we got the Manaphy, the Manaphy Galarian Gallery. And then we have got the Dragalag, the Drag, Drag, Dragalg, the Dragalg right there. The, the weird dragon looking motherfucker. Right, okay, we got the Manaphy right there. Very, very nice. I do prefer the silver borders. It's so exciting that we're getting the silver borders in English. Um, we did open a few pre-releases. I'll actually grab the card to show you. Yeah, we did open a few pre-releases and this is uh, the card. It was the only hit that I pulled, but that is what we pulled. And it is just, I mean, I know the lighting isn't really, really not helping out right there, but it is so, so nice. We got these like really cool alts and you can, I don't know if you can see, but there's like glitter around it as well. Just like the Japanese, we normally don't get that in English. Um, if anyone remembers Generations, the Radiant Collection. We got no glitter. We got no glitter. Right, what's in here? Oh, we got a slab. Oh, that's what the slab stand is for. Right, okay, here we go. So we got a slab. We can see that it's PSA. Right, okay, that is that is awesome, actually. That is really, really cool. I didn't know we were going to be getting a slab, um, but we have got a PSA slab right there. Um, so I don't know if you do get a slab 
Um, maybe if Nick does watch this, he can explain in the comments a little bit and then I'll pin it. Um, but we have got a slab. What do we reckon it's going to be? The centering looks pretty decent, to be fair. Um, but should we should we cover that there we go we can cover that and it is an ice rider calyrex let's go we're getting a lot of glitter a lot of glitter a lot of shine on this right now so this is from astral radiance um the ice rider calyrex gold from the trainer gallery and what is it it is a gem min 10 let's go guys let's go so not only are we getting like packs blisters um the collection box as well and the the, the most important thing is the socks um but we are also getting a psa 10 a gem mint 10 uh, ice rider calyrex gold full art from astral radiance in the trainer gallery uh, that is so so sick right give me a sec and we will do a little recap right so in no order whatsoever i have sleeved them up and all that kind of stuff just to you know you gotta gotta stay protected out here all right um so always sleeve up we have got a dragapult v max um from rebel clash we got the Inteleon V from Rebel Clash. I wish I didn't put sleeves on them now. There we go. There's no shine on that. We have got the Magina V from Silver Tempest. We have got the Pavement Pizza Spiritomb from Astral Radiance. No, Lost Origin. What am I doing? We got the Manaphy right there. The Galarian Gallery from Crown Zenith. Very nice. We got the Haunch Crow Alt Art. Let's go. Let's go. I wasn't imagining we'll pull an Alt Art today. We have got the Haunch Crow V Full Art from brilliant star and then we have got cherin's care full art rainbow from brilliant star as well absolutely amazing amazing pulls so how do you feel about poker parcels would it be something that you would subscribe to at any of the tiers let me know in the comments down below so as always i've been chris that was pokemon and uh yeah bye bye